Hi everybody! In this video I'm gonna share with you how I fixed squeaky window on my 2007 Nissan Altima. The window started squeaking when rolling up and down and I also noticed some scratches on the glass surface. To find the source of the problem I went ahead and removed the door panel first. If you need to see how to do it, check out one of my previous videos link will be in the description below. Next you can remove the interior window trim. Inspect it for any signs of wear or damage and replace if needed. Now you'll get a clear access to take a look at your exterior window trim. In my case the rubber piece on the inside of the trim was already dried up and it almost completely fell off. And that's exactly why after it was gone, the window started scratching against the trim. Also when I got the replacement part, I noticed that originally there should be not one, but two of those pieces. Surprisingly the replacement part wasn't cheap and to save a few bucks I ordered mine online. When I received the replacement part, I made sure that it looks and measures the same as my old one, since there might be a few different variations depending on which year and style is your Altima, such as hybrid, base model, Model S, SE or SL. If you need help finding the right part for your car, I'll post a link in the description area below to help you with that. Also, it's very helpful to see how the trim is attached to the door frame. First, you'll see two tabs on each side of the trim, which you'll have to unclip later on. And second, there's a small hook-shaped groove along the bottom side that holds the trim in place. To remove the trim, you'll also need to disconnect and take out the rear view mirror. Next we're gonna unclip both tabs on each side of the trim. There are special trim removal tools available, but since I'm not really worried about keeping the old trim, I'm just gonna use whatever I can find around my garage. Go ahead and start from the front end first. Lift up the trim and unclip the tab. Next, do the same thing on the other end. And finally pull out the trim to the side and take it out. Install the new trim, reassemble the door panel and the rear view mirror. Hope this was helpful. Feel free to ask me questions in the comments section and if you have the same car please subscribe to my channel as I will be posting more do-it-yourself videos here. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.